Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update Dick Penning. So excited. Um, I love this project. This is created by Emily of Emily and Max who's a genius when it comes to project pens. She also does the Graveyard Project Pen, which is another phenomenal one. Um, it was inspired by books with Maddie's TBR game, so to be read game. And um, you need a deck of cards, including the Joker. Mm -hmm. And um, it runs from January 20th to December 20th. Uh, monthly rolling style, five cards unless prompted otherwise, and mon monthly, 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 there's a TH there, updates on the 20th. I need to have it written down and read it out or I will forget. And then I'm like, oh, oh, I never said, oh, I forgot to say. I love this project. It is so much fun and knocking everything. I love watching everybody's updates. I love participating. I'm so happy I got to participate this year because I missed out last year. It's just so much fun. I love it. Uh, I'm weeping with excitement. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're unsure about this project, it's been on the go now. This is its second year, so I'm sure you probably know a lot about it. But if you don't, go and check out Emily's channel. I will have a link down below with her intro to this project. She explains it obviously in depth because it's her project and she understands it best. My hair, look at it. it is what it is. We are where we are. It's getting done in two weeks. It'll be fine. Um, so just, you know, just, just don't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, update time. Yes, let's go. Okay, focus. I'm slightly dehydrated because it's so hot. What? It's hot in summer? <laughs> Wild. So, first up was the Joker. Um, it is, uh, when you get the Joker, it's are you joking? So an item that you don't want to pan or is that really hard to pan and you have a difficult kind of goal on it. So I have this Too Faced um blush in the shade i can't remember <laughs> that's not the shade name but i can't remember it and alex even told me the last one and i think i wrote it down no because i'm an idiot um i have it in for 50 uses i have used it 10 times partly because i haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup but also because i'm trying to focus on hitting pan and at least one of my blushes in my palette that I've in team project pan so that's kind of been my focus so I've just used this um quite sporadically but it's beautiful I really really like it so obviously that should be staying in unless I get a veto and then it's ha, out of here I'm sorry guys we're very weepy today I apologize uh, next up was a Queen of Diamonds and that is the Project Graveyard which is a nod to Emily's other project and that is uh, collect I chose collecting cobwebs so you have resurrection or collecting cobwebs I chose collecting cobwebs and for that I brought in this uh, loose face powder that am I upside down what am I doing guys why is it back to front the thing is usually never back to front oh yeah this is the PS Loose Powder and I have it in for 22 uses and I've used it seven times. How bizarre. It usually never comes up back to front. I've definitely, lads, I've done something with the camera since I went to holidays and I don't know what I did to fix it. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I've only used it seven times so this will obviously be staying in as well because I'm trying to finish this stupid powder that will not die. Uh, next up is a four of clubs and that is this gorgeous highlight palette uh, from KVD that is the alchemist holographic palette that Kena very kindly sent me and it is just I adore this I just love it it's just the perfect uh, complementary inner corner highlight palette I know they all look kind of like the same there but they're not you have a green a blue an ultraviolet and a pink and I just I have so much fun with this palette I love it I had it in for 22 uses and I've met my goal. So yay, we have a roll out. So I get to roll a card in. Yay. Fingers crossed. Don't drink yourself, Ruth. Just no. Keep going. Keep going. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, next up was last month. I got the Four of Diamonds and that was a bomb. So a black owned makeup brand. And I chose a Juvia's Place. This is the festival palette and I'm doing it no pan left behind and I uh, this is what it is looking like and I've used this shade this shade and this shade so only three shades so far so this will be staying in um 
Hayley, if you're watching this, because I know you love this palette, what, what colour combos do I do? What do I do here? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Um, so if you could give me some advice, or if anybody has this palette and, you know, can come up with a great colour story for me, you know, how to mix and match these shades. I'm I'm such a lateral thinker. I don't think outside the box at all. I just don't. Um, and then when someone says it to me, I'm like, oh my God, that seems so feckin' obvious. How did I not see it? But I just, I just don't. But I have it on my eyes today with um, my Uden's Eye School palette. Um, but yeah, any hints or tips, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just be using one shade at a time, which will be, you know, fine too. But yeah, I, I, I'd appreciate some hints and tips of that one. Because um, I do like it. I do like it. It's interesting. But I'm a bit confused by it. And the last item I have in at the moment is the Alpha Pref uh, Moisture Dry Hair Leave-In Conditioner. I have to try and block out that um, sign in my background. But I'm not getting rid of it because I really like it. Um, I have this in. So this is Nine of Clubs, a hair care item. And I have it in for 10 uses. And I've used it five times so far. And I'm really enjoying it. It's a leave-in conditioner. And it does seem to be, yeah, I do like it. Um, I know Steph likes this as well, Steph Lines. Um, but it seems to be the go-to for hairdressers here in Ireland to recommend it when you dye your hair because she's kind of she's gone blonde as well. And this is what her hair dryer recommend. Hair dryer? Wow! Imagine if your hair dryer could recommend. Do your blow dryer hair and going. Oh, I think you need a little bit of this. Don't go stealing my ideas. <laughs> But anyway, this is staying in. Oh. Um, five more uses. The tangents are strong today, guys. So we get to roll in a camera and see what we're going to get. So this is my deck of cards. We have two jokers. The little sheep is the joker. One will go away and one is going into the middle of the deck. Nervous. Ugh. Making a mess because I'm so nervous. I can't do them sexy bridge fucking shuffles that you all do because you're all, you know, croup ears and different lives or something. I'm just like, oh, I think I saw a wasp, guys. It's the start. And so it begins. <laughs> right. We got this. We got this. I'm going to cut the deck and see what we get. Oh, I had a little peek. What is it? Nine of spades. So let's have a little look at the game board and see what the nine of spades is. Oh, controversial brand. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I gotta go to my collection and see if I have something from gosh. There's one straight away, isn't it? Um okay, I'll come back to you. And I'm back. So, okay. So we got the nine of spades, as I said, and I never told you what was on the card. So this is the Giants Causeway up in the north of Ireland in County Antrim. And um, I was there once only, but we went, I think it was about five years ago, and it was really cool, actually. Um, it's all these hexagonal stones that literally just seem to come out of the sea. And the... the the myth and legend behind it is that two um, giants were fighting, one from Scotland and one from Ireland, and um, they were throwing stones at each other to build a bridge to get to each other to fight it out kind of and stuff. So it's just, but it's a lovely spot actually and it has a lovely, they, they've put a lot of money into it to kind of, um, to make the whole experience really good so it's really worth the visit um but yeah so giants causeway up in county Antrim. um so that is a controversial brand and i have chosen um i don't have much controversial brands actually in my collection although let's be honest every day a brand is letting us know that they're not worth their coins but anyway i'm choosing two-faced because of that stupid jared um i'm so glad he's gone out of the company it was a good move out of them obviously I wonder was it the same? Is this still ordered? Did they? Oh no, it was Kendo. Was it the bought out KVD? So I'm just wondering, like getting rid of these problematic brand owners is definitely the way to go if you want your brand to keep going. 
Um, but anyway, this is a Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. It was never really a face and eye palette for me. And wet and dry is an odd way to describe it. Anyway, which is well. I only have two products left in this because one uh, broke on me. It fell on carpet and broke, for God's sake. It was so fragile. And uh, the other one was a very odd orange with micro glitter in it. And it was just awful. So I tried to repress it. Um, but it didn't work out for me because back then I had the wrong alcohol for repressing. Whereas now I have better so and it's very much i have peach honey and peach pearl still in it if you can see them there the smell of peach is nearly gone out of it actually i need to get moving on this um this is them there and they're quite shimmery um products one is kind of like a bronzer topper i describe it as and the other is a very blinding highlight and my I can really only use this in the summertime. It's too dark for me any other time of year. Um, so my goal is going to be is going to be a soft goal, lads. I'm not going to lie. But even at that, I might still <laughs> make it by next update. I'm going to put a ten usage goal on this palette as a whole um, because I'm not wearing as much makeup at this time of year because it's too damn hot. And um, even when I do, I'm trying so hard to make progress on my um, long-term goal products that I want to finish up for the year, if that makes sense. Um, so anything that I roll into these kind of um, prompt-based projects are going to be softer goals, just usage goals, just rotating through some of my collection and stuff like that. So yeah, anyhow, this is coming in, 10 uses, and yeah. That is it for this update. How are you getting on? Did you have any um, success this month with your your goals and stuff like that? Um, did anyone else get a joker? <laughs> I hope I get the veto at some stage. I really do. Because I really need to focus on my blushes in the, in the palette. But look, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just tip away at it, use it a couple of times a month and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I love this project. I can't wait to see all the updates and see how everyone gets on. And I, I get so excited when I see cards that people are pulling to see what they get and stuff like that. It's just great fun. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this update and hopefully I will chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slon. That was a bone cracking. <laughs>